Hello everybody and welcome to the first technically stream of 2022. Uh, I hope everyone had a good new year. I hope you all uh, were safe and that you uh, spent some time with some friends or family or, you know, being alone sometimes. That's all good as well. I hope you kept yourself busy, whatever it is. Uh, and I hope that uh, 2022 ends up being a good year for you as well. So, uh, that's part for the live stream, but of course, we are doing another part of the Let's Play for Final Fantasy XIV. Uh, we're picking up exactly where I left off last time. I did actually um, start doing a little bit of uh, the, what's it called, the, gra the gathering jobs, so I started it. But that was mainly in uh, off stream. I only did like five things of uh, mining, really. And then I had to leave. So that's where we're at. So we're gonna uh, go ahead and not do this one. Uh, let me actually untoggle this for now. Can you untoggle it or does it stay there? Yeah, I'm gonna untoggle it. There we go. Yeah, that one too. Okay. So now let's go to uh, the manor. That's where we left off last. So um, not too far away for any of this. Today, we're going to use a, a good amount of uh, webcam here and there too. Long cutscenes, things like that. I'll probably turn it off. But uh, if we're questing and moving around, then I'll, I'll turn it on. Here and there. Um, what do we have? Are, are we in? Is this the right place? Okay, yeah, it is. We just need to go over to uh, the manor. We'll use the Ethernet to get over there. Uh, which one is it? No, it's over this. I think it's the last night. Or no, last vigil. Okay. I'm going to look at where we're at in the grand scheme of things today as well. Like how close we are to Stormblood and that kind of stuff. Is that... Alize, Alphino's twin sister. She ran afoul of the Warriors of Darkness. I had been tracking them since the ceremony at Falcon's Nest. Little did I know I was not the only one. Evidently, she had learned of their activities and attempted to shadow them on her own poorly. I rescued her in the Twelves Wood, and together we fled north. But though I made every effort to cover our tracks, they caught up with us on the Ishgardian border. And in the ensuing struggle, Elise took an arrow to the shoulder. It was only after we had made good our escape that I realized it was poisoned. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah, Thank last you time we, so quickly. we were and eating you, Sir Emmerich. with uh, the Air Aramek. How is she? Now I remember. We have done all we can for now. Although the immediate danger has passed, the poison yet lingers in her blood. We came to Eorzea together. Hoping to bring salvation to the realm our grandfather gave his life to protect. But when confronted with the bitter realities of its politics and its petty powermongers, she was driven to anger and to doubt.
She refused to become embroiled in what she termed Eorzea's squabbles and distanced herself from the Scions. Though she remained hopeful of a brighter future, she would walk her own path. Would that it had not been so perilous. For all our differences, she's as dedicated as any scion to the salvation of Eorzea. But more than that, she is my sister. To be reunited with her, only to lose her forever. Gods, even to speak the words. Take heart, Master Alphino. She will be attended by our most skilled Chirurgians. Bear Mistress Leveilleur to the infirmary at once. Apprise Captain Whitecape of the situation and inform him that she is to be treated as my personal charge. W wait, don't go. Please, come closer. The warriors of darkness are in league with the Asians. Slaughtering the primals is but the first step in their plan. They make for Zelfatol to bring about Garuda's summoning and to kill her. Oh, you must. You must stop them. I. I shall inform the others at once. Master Thancred, I would ask that you accompany Mistress Leveilleur to the infirmary. Your knowledge of her injuries may well prove useful in determining her treatment. Of course. Once again, we make some good progress. I changed it up uh, for the the webcam style. Instead of a circle, we're doing a little box. See how this goes today. So I, I think we might actually be able to uh, start up with uh, the storyline of Stormblood today. If we if we do stick to it and make a lot of progress, then I, I think it's definitely possible. Um, there's only really about uh, 15 quests between here and there. Um, right now, I'm on the patch. Uh, oh crap! Now I don't remember. I don't exactly remember what patch I'm on, but there's basically I'm on the third to last between Heaven Sward and. Uh, uh, Stormblood. So we're getting there. Definitely on our way. Okay, so all the way up there. Speak with the Steadfast Knight. Okay, can we fly here? Yes, we can. That's what I like to see. We're able to fly around. Yeah, I think this is one of the, the last Aether Currents that I did. I, was, I came here, so cool. A 
new duty finder. Sounds good. Okay. Tag this one. 17 minutes. Oh, <laughs> man. That's what's going to hold us back the longest. On one second, chat. I unplugged the audio and plugged it back in to see if uh, that helps at all with um, uh, I, I was hearing a little bit of cutting in and out here and there so um, now what do we do we have 17 minutes to, to spare between now and then not too sure what to uh what to begin with. I could what do a little bit of gathering technically? Does this work like this? Here, actually, I'm gonna look it up real quick if or when the uh, next patch is supposed to drop. I think it's like sometime this week. So, next patch January 4th. Oh, on Tuesday. 6.05 release date, maintenance time. So they actually did announce it. Uh, Square Enix hasn't announced the exact timing of the patch yet. It always happens overnight. Yeah, so it'll be on Tuesday, it sounds like. Hopefully... We'll get the uh, world transfers, but I don't know. I don't know if we're going to get that yet, to be honest. Kind of nervous about that because I want to be able to play with the homies. But we're still waiting on it at the moment. PSQ be like <laughs> man it's like no music playing Okay. I guess we could go to um, know that land. Oh right, I I forgot I swapped. I was gonna say, why did we uh, ha or have a new uh, blast ability? But yeah, let's go to Limsa Lamensa. In the meantime. Go to Limsa just to see the cat girls. True. What's up, Yobex? Happy New Year. How art thou? What is that logo? I don't think I've ever seen that one before. J Kami? The, like, group logo? Happy New Year. 
I hope uh, yours went well. Just waiting on that DPS queue. Oh, that's a party finder logo. He has a party finder up. Okay. Huh. I've never seen that one before. All of these people celebrating their New Year's Day in Final Fantasy. What other way would there be? Same though. <laughs> Same. I'm pretty sure I spent uh, last year on Final Fantasy as well. Like I'm, I'm pretty certain that last year I, I started it. Oh God. <laughs> I spent last year eating. Somebody slapped me. Why would you slap me? Where is that? Where are they? Luna. Somebody just slapped me. Where? Spent this last one drinking and eating. Oh my god. Keeping Tom? Yeah, I wanted. Alright. Yeah, I, I saw that one, but I was like, eh. I'm gonna do it now, though. So, how do you do it? Does it just, like, notify you? Like, somebody is looking at you? Or slash P Tom. They have to actually be looking at you though, right? And then they would show up right here, I guess. I put that little window right over my chat box. Okay, so it kind of just sits there open. All right, we'll see. See how it, how it turns out. Okay, so when, so technically when we're in a raid uh, or a, a dungeon, if somebody's trying to heal me, then I should show up in there. Or I mean, I, I'll see their name in there because they're looking at me. Yeah, okay. Oh. I'm gonna try to start Stormblood today. I'm gonna do my very best. Let's see if I just walk around. Actually, here, uh, what was it? It's like forward slash. No. Um, I forget what button allows you to walk. I forget the key. Forward slash on the numpad. There it is. Ah, uh, you have to keep your UI up. Let's see if we just walk around. If somebody else targets me. My little melon is following me as you can see you know one thing i, I didn't know um 
but I saw that you can, I didn't know, you could actually like get married in this game. Like you can uh, buy an item from the store for free. And like, is there any perk to it? Like, or is it mainly used for like role play purposes? Die move. He's looking at me. Ah. Somebody looked at me. They might accidentally click though. Da, da. around I look literally wearing armor I thought she was proposing for a second <laughs> they're so close but I didn't see the uh, little platform ah yes looking out onto the open one day she'll have a ship just like that Turn around, make our way back. Hold on one sec. I'm stuck. Still walking. Do damage, damage, more damage. Call an ifrit. Move out of the way. The Ruby Triangle or Ruby Rain? Ru Ruby Ruin? Ruby Ruin. My eyes are like insanely tired right now. I like just got on to it's okay I got seven hours to go I should probably nap but I don't like taking naps I feel like it throws me off so much I mean I technically got like six hours of sleep Maybe a little bit more, maybe a little bit less. I, I don't know. But. I don't know. We'll see. Because my original goal was to stream all day. Like, I was literally going to wake up at, like, 9, come home, hop on at 10, and then stream all day long. Because uh, my wife is with some friends for her birthday tomorrow. So I literally have nothing going on at least. I'm gonna just gonna push through it. Oh, 
Hopefully. I say that now. We'll see. don't collapse hasn't happened yet so <laughs> I mean we'll see I guess just start passing on equipment then I'm not going to use there's no point can you even sell dungeon gear or is it like some it some you can some you can't and is it worth doing I guess is the better question thing so like for people that that you can't sell but you can use an mpc deliveries to free level free company stuff or gathering such land jobs huh that's interesting um so for somebody that has like for you do you okay be right back sounds good Watching this as much as I can. Tain the bone key. This is a cool dungeon. Indeed, it is. I just realized that person has the uh, the new player icon, but I have the the flower. 
What? What? I guess it's because I stopped playing and then I came back, and they're still playing from the first time they logged in. I don't know how how that works, or like when you lose your flower. Oh shoot! I just move out of that. Got stabbed. you stand in front of this you won't get knocked back now I see Treasure coffer. Anything good? Uh, not really gonna use that. Level 60. I don't have any other level 60 jobs, so. Uh, you know what? I need to eat something. Forgot to uh, throw on some of that. A lot of these in-between uh, quests have been dungeons mainly. It's not like solo quests or new areas. I guess that kind of makes sense though because it's, it is in-between patches. So it's not like they're going to like add an entire or in-between expansions. Um, so that it kind of, I understand. And I guess so if they add like, oh, there's a new uh, dungeon available for this patch currently going on. Like, okay, cool. Like, gives people a reason at the time to go back to it and check out the new dungeon. <laughs> These things must be really strong. Can't get over that. Uh, 
I'm basically just constantly smacking the book. Cast another spell. Another one. That's all I hear the entire time. <laughs> Summoner explained. Run to everybody? So you get close to the person that it's flashing on. That makes sense. And then for these, we stay away from each other as much as we can. There it is. Wait, nobody picked up the treasure coffer. I'll pass on it. Thank the gods. What happened? So they were unable to see the ritual to its completion. Then Garuda is no longer a threat, and whatever the Asians and the Warriors of Darkness were planning has come to naught. But we should not tarry. The Knights have secured our path to safety. Well, well. What do we have here? Who's that? You'd better not have killed the Primal without us. The Warriors of Darkness are back. Oh boy. What 
do they want? You! Wait, I know you. Still walking, I see. I could have sworn my aim was true. Just what is your game? Leading us a long way so these fools could step in and claim our prize? No, no. Let's not make hasty accusations. By the look of things, the ritual was proceeding as planned. We arrived at the appointed hour. It was they who erred. It is hopeless. We cannot face them all. Do mine ears deceive? A boy! So that's the way of it. Twins! You had me worried for a moment there. Know that I will happily make it quicker for you. If you just stand still. Uh oh. Enough, Jarumu. We wouldn't want to upset the man in white with any unnecessary bloodshed now, would we? Hmm. You've been awfully busy since we were kind enough to spare your lives. While you were idly consorting with the Asians, you mean? Seven hells! What could you possibly hope to achieve? Should I explain it to you? Very well. Consider it a reward of sorts for beating us here. You know the tale of Hydaelyn and Zodiac, I take it? Of the Great Sundering and the reflections it created? Across ten and three they were divided. Reflections of the Source, each possessed of shards of light and dark. Just so. One of those reflections, the one nearest to the Source, is our home. And we were the heroes blessed with her light. <laughs> but not My all guy worlds is hold like... light and dark in equal measure. In ours, the power of light was greater by far. <laughs> so the Asians who once threatened our home were no match. And they fell before us, one after another, till none were left. Victory, we thought. And then came the light. A flood of pure, blinding radiance, annihilating shadow and color and life itself. Ere long, it will consume our world, leaving naught in its wake but blank perfection. That... that cannot be. Do you honestly expect us to believe such a story? Believe what you like. But it has happened before, on a world far removed from ours. The Thirteenth, which was swallowed by the dark and transformed into what you call the Void. Unchallenged light would condemn us to a similar fate. And so we joined hands with our former enemies, and with their aid came here, to the Source. For there is but one way to restore the balance and save our home. The Arda. Calamitous destruction with the, the power to break down the barriers between planes and see our worlds rejoined. You would doom our world to save your own? What would even become of us? Of you! Enough. I tire of talking. You know our cause. You know what is at stake. We are prepared to do whatever it takes. Are you? Well, I mean, we made it this far. Uh, if there he's is all you stay? would say, say it. Otherwise, be gone. You have no friends here. Uh, 
Something's up with him. Hmm. What I miss? Uh, not much, not much. Oh, that's funny. You click on that. <laughs> I was just messing with that. Uh, not much. You can only use it all click and right click if they're nearby. Okay. If they like recently looked at you, basically. We learned that the uh, warriors of darkness join the uh, the bad guys because they're trying to save their world, from my understanding. And they don't really care about ours at all. Basically. Two sides of a coin. Uh, where is this at? We'll go to the Forgotten Knight. Bum, bum, bum. I forget, there was a question. Oh, when does, um... So I was just in a group with somebody that had it. Like, how is this person level 70 and they still have this logo? But then for me, I have the flower. So I know that means that they're new and mine means that I'm returning. But when does it swap? Is it when your subscription expires and then you renew it? Or like, I don't know how that works. Oh, it swaps after you haven't played for three months. Okay. So that means every all those new people, they've been continuing their playthrough. Um, and they didn't quit. Okay. Alize, how when does feeling? it go away completely? Like you no longer have that. Well enough, brother. When you hit max Thanks level to the kindness of our or hosts. something with one job. They told me you had departed for Zelfatol while I was still abed. Uh, I slept much better knowing that. Thank you. I take it your mission was a success. Oh. <laughs> Over 210 hours. Only. <sniffs> Only 210 hours. As if we Jeez. needed any further confirmation that they are in league with the Assians. But to save another world. Uh -huh. I think not. I too thought his story fanciful at first. But it is possible there may be a kernel of truth in all of this. Recently changed it. At the very least, none of his claims contradict the word's account. You were following these people, Alize. Why? During my travels, I had oft enjoyed tales of the Scions and their exploits. But after a time, I began to hear whispers of a gifted and theretofore unknown band of adventurers. Adventurers who had supposedly sworn to travel the realm slaying primals in the Scion's stead. The Warriors of Darkness. And in the course of investigating these rumors, you stumbled upon the Asian's involvement. Yes, exactly. Forgive me, but if these warriors of darkness mean to bring about another calamity, to what end do they hunt primals? To prompt an escalation. 
to deepen the Beast Tribe's feelings of helplessness and despair, and thereby drive them to summon ever more powerful gods. And lest we forget, these events do not occur in isolation. With their patron deities being slain left and right, the news of man's victory over Nidhogg must surely have sown panic in the minds of the Beastmen. Tis no wonder they wish to defend themselves. Power answered with greater power, death with more death. A vicious cycle fueled by fear and hatred. I know it's like all too well. Indeed. The Asians sow discord and desperation, and the warriors of darkness reap the harvest. And so it continues. Yet that is not the extent of their ambitions. The Asian himself observed that once the powerless realize that the old gods have failed them, they will have little recourse but to look to a new one. We cannot let that happen. It should come as no surprise, but Alize and I have uncovered evidence that the Asians have been manipulating certain parties to ensure that a constant stream of crystals flows into the hands of the beast tribes. If we sever these supply lines, we should at least be able to slow the escalation. Agreed. Kral and I shall journey to Zelfatol and learn what we can of the Ixar's source. Then I, for my part, pledge to lead a similar investigation into the origin of the Nath supply. Sir Emmerich? As a member of the Eorzean Alliance, Ishgard is on a bound to play an active role in maintaining the security of the realm. You might also say that I have some personal motivation, given the Asians' dealings with my father. However, I make no secret of the fact that my knowledge of primal beings is scant at best. As such, I should be most grateful if one of your order were to assist me. Allow me, Sir Emmerich. I have dealt with the Nath before. Let us consult with Orianja then. Given his dedication to the study of primal beings, I should be surprised if he could not tell us something of value. Allow me to accompany you, brother. And before you think to refuse, know that I am not the girl I once was. I shall not be a burden. You have my word. But Alizé, you... You are more than welcome. After all, it was you who set us upon this path. Wait a minute. I'm afraid I can't allow you to leave just yet. Not until you try on the new outfit I prepared for you. sides of a coin Sorry, i'm looking up like a chat box like instead of me covering up my face covering up the chat i'm trying to put away of like twitch chat is like the in-game chat but i can't figure out how to do it properly oh shit he's here
Am I a bad person for skipping the, the cutscenes that doesn't have voice acting now? I don't have the attention span. <laughs> I feel like I'm at the point where like all the important stuff that has voice acting like I'll read some of the text but I'm like kind of like skimming through it for the most part I might make a cup of coffee Could go for some kafefe. continue here we haven't been back here for a very long time it has been quite a while uh oh this guy say She knows something's up. There we go. Soon enough, we will find out. We will. there's a lot of moment where music just like completely stops for certain areas give me the next quest go 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 uh unlikely allies hold on let me um let me check to see if if we have a dungeon then I'll, that's when i'll uh make a cup of coffee or something uh but if that's not for a bit then i might make one real quick okay that's pulled up uh da -da 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 -da. where's i going again I 
MSQ. Dragon Song War Quest. Uh, we are at Unlikely Allies. Uh, it's going to be a bunch of quests to uh, a hand in. Okay. We can pick up the next one. Shoot, did I close it? I did close it. What the heck? Search for the kobold. Where is it? I will see your logo somewhere. You enter the sanctuary, you left the sanctuary. You enter the sanctuary, you left the sanctuary. Like constantly. Um. Hmm. Oh, there it is. Pursue the kobolding. Get back here. There's no music playing at all. Surprising. Uh, you go now. Wait, what? I mean, the area is not huge right here. Try slash BGM. It's unmuted. Do you have to do the enable city state BGM in residential areas? Am I considered in to be in a residential area right now? I don't think so. What is the listening position? I don't know, it's just silent out here, I guess. Oh, there he is. Oh, wait, I must, uh, hmm. Listening, I would assume the listening position is the closer it is to the camera, then your camera will de decide how close it is, but then if you change it to character, then uh, if your character is close to sounds, it'll sound like that. I don't. That's my idea. Okay, I totally thought those two things were something else. I comp. I thought that. Those things on his armor were 
completely something else. I was like, wow, that's bold of them to put that into this game. And yeah, <laughs> I thought he's just like a little like, like monkey. Gabu, Gabagoo, Gabooboo. I can't even see the name of this quest. The beast that mounted at, or that mourned at the heart of the mountain. Gabu, Gabu Boo. Secure the cache of crystals. Just doing some classic MMO questing. It wise. I don't like how quiet it is right now. It's like abnormally quiet. Wait, what did that say? Oh, though you cast for some time, you see no sign of the crystals. It's too quiet. Hmm. Not sure about listening position, position, never messed with it, same. I'm from just me thinking of that, like I wonder like, say if I move my camera away, since this guy is nearby me walking, I wonder if my, if it's set to camera, that if my camera is far away from him, I won't hear him as much. But if I change it to character, then if my character is close to him, then I'll hear it, even though my camera isn't close to him. Or, or I, I don't know, that's my idea of like, I mean, just by the sounds of it, that's what it sounds like. going this way before We do have duty finder. Wait, really? Oh, one sec. I thought we didn't have any. Because usually it, it, it tells you that, uh, there's one coming up where like you unlock one. 
Uh, Dragon Song War Quest. We are under. Okay. Yeah, I guess. Gabu. Still level. Okay, I'm about to be a 62. Nice. So we're a little over leveled. Oh, Naval Hard. Their selection. Interesting. Wait, is it actually going to be a less than five minute queue? Oh man, now I'm like nervous about going to get a... to get a cup of coffee. But I'm DPS. We have to find three other people. I don't know how quick that's going to happen. I'm going to change my stance. Or pose. There we go. What's the difference between sit on ground and sit? Oh, I guess sit you can use in like chairs and stuff. are so tired I just wish like like I could just put something on them and just be like all right ready three two one like my body is fine it's just my eyes just my eyes Sit on ground makes it so you don't sit in a chair. So if you're sitting nearby a chair, then will you sit in the chair? Of course, now it says average wait time, seven minutes. Here we go. I remember this actually. Send in Titan to fight Titan. Oh, 
Oh shit! Ha ha ha! Oh no! I missed that cue. Of course I would do that. Oh well. <laughs> Not much else we can do now. There it is. <laughs> GG team. Hey, I got it. Oh my god. I just robbed them. Now I feel bad. What did I get? Well, it's the way of the game, I guess. Something, something tight. Uh, oh, wait. It's a, oh, uh, well, it's actually worse than what I have anyway, so it's a, not a big deal. <laughs> I can't believe that, though. I died like five minutes into the fight, and then I was over. You just clam it, clam it onto your current weapon. I wonder if it looks cool. I think it looks all right.
That's kind of cool. Where is it in here? I don't even see it in here. Or wait, if I do cast glamour, and then I go to. Hey, thank you for the follow and thank you for the like as well. Call me HD. Hey, what's going on, HD? Hello and welcome. Wait, why didn't um? Hold on, let me check that. Oh, oh, I know why. Audio is silenced. Thank you for the uh, yeah, appreciate both of those. Some audio. There we go. Why do I not hear that? Hello, hello. Uh... Inventory? Main hand. And if we go to the greater key of Titan. Oh, okay. Now I see. And you choose that and then you do cast. Okay. Uh, what's my current weapon then? I have the augmented hailstorm. One sec. Okay, never mind. All right, whatever. <laughs> I'm gonna get lost. You have to choose on the drop down tab. Oh, 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 now I see. Here's my weapon. Then I go to this and then I hit that. Bada bing, bada boom, bam, schwam. Now we got the greater key of Titan. That's cool. More uh, fitting, at least. I was looking at the inventory of my armory. Not the actual uh, stuff that I had equipped. Speak with this guy. Loidian. Almost coughed right there. And when that would have been bad. <laughs> what was that face? Who goes there? It's just me. Oh, it's you. Forgive me for straying from the camp. That's all right. He hasn't been feeling too welcome, to say the least. I thought a change of scenery might do him good. But, alas. But alas. <sighs> it 
It's so quiet out here. The stars spread out before us, beckoning across time and space. Dawn may banish even the darkest night. How bitterly beautiful, those words. I should be stronger for all my experiences, yet my heart aches more than ever. I never understood why Grandfather gave his life that day. I thought that if I came here, I would find the answers I needed. But when I finally laid eyes on the land he sacrificed everything to save, saw firsthand the bickering, the pettiness, I was disappointed. I was angry. I could not fathom how these people were more deserving of his love than his family, than me. Nevertheless, I had to believe he had good reason. I was determined to uncover the whole truth of the calamity and, perhaps in so doing, find my own purpose in this sea of chaos. My travels have been enlightening, but I cannot say that I have enjoyed them. I have lost count of the many petty crises that I was helpless to resolve and of the people whose actions I could not understand. There were others, of course. Good people. People with whom I felt a kinship, whose lives I could not save. I found myself asking what it was all for, why try if I was doomed to fail in the end? But then I recalled Grandfather's words to my father, years ago, before he left Charlayan behind forever. To ignore the plight of those one might conceivably save is not wisdom, it is indolence. We must all protect that which we hold most dear in the manner of our own choosing. We have to try, do we not? Of course, it's one thing to try and another to do. There were times while I was tracking the warriors of darkness when I faltered, when I was afraid. But then I thought of my brother, of Urianger. Oh, pray forgive me. This conversation has been rather one-sided, hasn't it? Mayhap you could recount some of <laughs> I your I mean, that's usually how they all are. <laughs> oh! Forgot about this. Uh, I travel far and wide with two comp companions, Estenine and Yesaya. Say that. Gods! They must have been at each other's throats from dawn till dusk. I dare say you managed to keep the peace, though. Merely being in the presence of the Warrior of Light is surely enough to shame anyone into behaving. The hopes and dreams of so many rest on your shoulders, Warrior of Light. As long as the sun rises, we can but carry on. For the sake of those we hold dear. How nice. To what end dost thou cling to the tainted gifts of the mother? Hey yo, Every yo, what's going on, Trey? Purpose. How's it going? Even happy this. New Year. Oh yeah, happy New Year to everyone else too. Thanks for the like, man. Well, what is it? I don't know why it's not. The seeds sown in Vilbrand have been plucked from the earth and left to wither. 
Alas, Titan's demise sufficed not to drive the kobolds to deepest desperation. What did the man in white have to say? That we are to proceed as he did first set forth. Well, that's easy for him to say! It's not his bloody world on the brink of destruction, is it? Be thou well reminded that with an end to Ishgard's unrest, naught now remaineth to preoccupy the Scion's thoughts. And thus may they devote their every energy to thwarting thee and thine. I foresee only greater difficulties ahead. Foresee? Are you sure you don't welcome them? I'm starting to think you might hold a candle for your old friends after all. Pray do not mistake mine intent. I but look upon the path which lieth before us with due trepidation. Shouldst thou be of like mind, pray consider then another course. For the power to invoke the ardor belongeth not unto the Assians alone. With thine own hand, strike down thine enemy, the so-called hero who would see thy home lost to light. There it goes. Do but this, and thou wouldst at a single stroke disrupt the all too delicate balance of this realm, plunging her straightways into chaos. You do realize what you're suggesting, yes? To ignore the plight of those one might conceivably save is not wisdom, it is indolence. The words of my teacher and a creed I hold close to my heart. Very well. Draw him out. We'll make it quick. It shall be done. What good a creed one cannot uphold. What hurts soothed. What lives saved. Oh, hapless fool, what hast thou wrought by thine own hands? Minfilia, my friends, I shall not now beg your forgiveness. Full deeply, though it paineth me to walk it, I shall not stray from my chosen path. As Moonbreeder remains steadfast, so too shall I. So he hit, he's playing the good guy. Sounds like. He's our man on the inside that we don't know yet. Sweet. <clears throat> okay. Search for Alice. Where is she at? There she is. <laughs> that was pretty easy. Quick and easy to find her. Okay. Return to the waking sands. Sounds good. Thank you. 
Beautiful. Look at that. Love it. Does every, um... Does anybody know, does every mount have a flying version of it? If I do mount roulette. Okay, that one has a different one. Oh, it does. Really? Okay. Maybe I'll do that then. Start using the random mounts. Up is huge. <laughs> Go speak with her in little Ala Migo. I remember being here. Complete. Question the residents. My little chocobo buddy. I've been debating of getting the uh, collector's editions of uh, the other versions that I don't have, like Realm Reborn. Uh, I think. I forget which other two. There's three of them, but it's only like 20 bucks upgrade to them i kind of want to get the realm Re reborn one because you get the uh the cool outfit for your chocobo uh where is this last one the heck am i missing like they're right in front of me. Not you, not you. Are they outside maybe? Maybe they're on top. there's an upstairs oh right you're right <laughs> i was gonna search for that for a while oh yeah it goes up okay i never would have thought interesting We're almost 62. Very close. Just about there. to go to this temple rendezvous with alphanod at the temple of corn is 
so quiet. And good landing. Brothers and sisters. The Griffin. 20 years ago, Alamigo, our home, was claimed by the Galian Empire. In our haste to overthrow the King of Ruin, we turned a blind eye to our foes in the north. With our glorious revolution, we but laid a path for a new tyrant to succeed the old. And when confronted with our failure, we fled. Not a day goes by that I do not think of those we left behind. Think of them and feel ashamed. And I know each and every one of you feels the same. We abandoned them, our own flesh and blood, to labor till their backs gave in and their breath gave out, building the twisted steel ramparts which now mar our once majestic mountains. We abandoned them, the brave and true, to fight and die for their country, or worse, to be conscripted and sent off to rob another poor bastard of his home. We abandoned them, the meek and powerless, to bow and scrape when the Galleons pass, to sully themselves that they might live to see another day of misery. The Black Wolf may be dead, but a new Imperial Viceroy reigns in Alamigo now. A beast, not a fraction as merciful. You all know the Aeorzean Alliance will do not to oppose him. For all their promises and platitudes, they will not act if there's no profit in it. Only we can free our brothers and sisters from the Empire's tyranny, my friends. Only we have the courage to stand and fight. They have imprisoned us. They have enslaved us, and they have murdered us, but no more. Blood demands blood, and the Garleans shall pay for every drop they have spilt upon our lands. This I promise you, for we have a power within us, my friends. A power befitting our pride, our righteousness. Only join us, and we shall grant you the means to unleash it. And together, we shall see the Alamegan standard raised over the mountains of Gear Abania once more. The oh power boy. befitting their pride. Not at all. Wait, is that... Mm -hmm. What are you two doing here? I could ask you the same thing. You haven't seen them in a while. Well, well, this is quite the surprise. If you see what I see, if you that mask feel... is kind of cool. Might I suggest we continue this conversation in more agreeable surroundings? I saw that coming. That slight head nod.
right. Nice. Nodding is how everyone communicates in this game. True. <laughs> All the time. It's there's like a pause. They tilt their head down and lift it back up. And it's like, okay, everybody's in agreement. All right, good. On to the next thing. How do I check? I haven't checked my mount in a while, or my not minion, uh, companion. Here we go. Have they leveled up? Oh wow, five skill points. Okay. Do you use your companions at all? Um, yo, Bex, just out of curiosity. Yeah. Oh, really? Okay. I don't think I've ever used this thing. It can be an emergency healer. True. I love MMOs that have uh, companions built in. While wearing the Weather Shepherd's tunic and slops, speak with Alphanald. Does that go into my inventory? Weather Shepherd's tunic and slops. Or is that pants? Or slops pants? Weather Shepherd slops. My watch is just now telling me Happy New Year. My thanks, comrades. Comrades. <laughs> must you be must right be the time. esteemed adventurers of whom I've heard so much. I understand <laughs> you have taken an interest in our cause. A great interest, you might say. Your words have certainly made quite an impression on my friend and I. The Resistance has long, and some would say wisely, avoided open engagements with the Garleans, but you and yours seem confident against the world in arms. I can only assume you have good reason to be so bold. Why, one might even think you were planning to summon a primal. Because that would do much to explain the sizable shipment of crystals you recently received from your smuggler friends, whom our Ishgardian allies have since detained, lest you wonder.
Oh boy. I'd like to hear more about the Griffin. The real Griffin. Your performance earlier didn't fool us. Ah, oh boy. the famous scions of the Seventh Dawn. I should have known better than to think I could conceal the truth from you lot. You are right. I am not the Griffin, but I speak with his voice, and it was at his BS that we procured those crystals. You are wrong, however, if you think that we procured them to summon a primal. We used them to reach an accord with the Amalgia. In exchange for crystals to summon their god, they will aid us in the fight for Alamegan liberation. You've got to be joking! Have you gone completely mad? When people find out you helped the Lizardmen summon Ifrit, they'll turn on the Resistance. Alamigo will never be free! This isn't a fairy tale, girl. We don't have the luxury to play at being honorable heroes. It's because the likes of you wouldn't sully your saintly hands that Alamigo's been under the yoke for the past 20 years. But the Griffin won't stand for it, and neither will we. We're ready to do whatever it takes. What proof do you have of this arrangement with the Amalja? What? Aside from a lack of crystals? None. But the beastmen have a great big pile of the things if you fancy looking. You might want to hurry, though. It'll not be long before they summon their god. Search our camp if you don't believe me. We have naught to hide. If there is a cache to be found, Eder and I will find it. Then let us be off. Are you perchance the Warrior of Light? Aye. I thought so. You should know that a great many who have joined us did so because you saved them. Because you showed them that one brave man can make a difference. Oh boy. You saved me too once. Helped a friend over in Quarry Mill make some medicine I needed. But that was a lifetime ago. On behalf of my brothers and sisters, I thank you. You gave us hope where there was none, courage and strength when all was lost. We shall not squander your gift. I know that look, Ida, and I do not like it. You cannot seriously be contemplating taking up arms with that band of cutthroats. I... I just... If the Griffin and his men have their way, it is only a matter of time before the situation in Alamigo comes to a head. Your homeland's future teeters on a knife edge, and any reckless action, however small, could have irrevocable consequences. You mustn't lose sight of that, Ida. When the time comes, we must all make our choices, but we must do so in full possession of the facts. Now, let us away. There is work to be done.
right. We confronted him. I can sil silver piece, uh, or we can get some food. I'll take that for the for the gold or this uh, gill. I mean, one life for one world. Using the chocobo mount is something else. <laughs> For flying, at least. How does he hold me up? I have no idea. Poor Oda. Using all of his strength to, to keep me... Uh, on my way. You should see the fat chocobo mount. I I have seen it a few times. And that's another reason why I want to kind of get it. Uh, upon uh, several cutscenes will play in sequence, it's recommended that you set aside sufficient time to play these scenes in their entirety. All right, let's do it. This isn't right. The Amalgia would never leave this place so poorly guarded. Not willingly, no. <laughs> ah, the saviors of Eorzea. Slow as ever. By the Twelve, will you never learn? You know you're right. Mayhap it is time for a change of tack. Killing primals, tormenting beastmen, hastening the birth of a new god. It's all a bit much, isn't it? And frankly, we don't have the leisure to do it. But killing the warrior of light, on the other hand, that would soon plunge Eorzea into chaos. One life for one world. A fair exchange. Wouldn't you agree? Oh boy. Lest you forget, you've more than one opponent. Hey, what's going on, Legend? Carbunker. Welcome back. Defend me. Ooh. I sense you will offer more than mere target practice, unlike your sister. Alize. Damn, really? Tornado. Did, Dude, it's scary out there. Did I not tell you, Alphano? I am not the girl I once was. My brother was always the clever one, while my talents lay elsewhere. Where this is going. If you would dare to stand against us, to destroy all that we hold dear, then you shall die by my sword. Let's finish this.
Here we go. Do I have to summon Carbuncle again? Take down this guy first. The Knight of the Darkness. There's no escape. Oh God. I'm about to die. No! No! <laughs> I died. You know, I don't really care. I'm going back in like that. <laughs> Alright, let's do it again. gonna be like a two minute fight now But they spawn back in. Is the Devout of Darkness healing them? Can't break three. Oh crap, you know what? I think I still it have those pants on that now. I don't need to wear anymore. <laughs> betray us as well he that holdeth fast under his convictions shall never count betrayal amongst his crimes though all the world may call him villain my path is unchanged my creed sacrosanct this I believe with all my heart but say warrior of darkness and speak true what dost thou believe that rendering up the souls of thy world in service to the rejoining will on grant Metroid. It salvation. Stuck on boss, so I'd take a break. Nice. nice. Yeah, I definitely see that. By the <laughs> twelve, Oriange. <gasps> Mine apologies, Master Alfino. Oh, really? That the brightest light. Oh shoot. 
You sweet fool. I was almost willing to believe you had turned against us. So he wasn't I actually. A full when this is over. For now, may I assume you have turned your cloak for the last time? I. Okay. Thou mayest, my lady. I remember right before Heaven Sword, I was like, ah, oh, you snake. Like, he was, he was evil Might this I whole leave? time. And now. Turns out he is not. Even odds then. No matter. We'll crush the lot of you in one fell swoop. Understood. Hearken to me. We only have one chance. Channel your ether into my blade that I might strike before the mage casts his spell. I cannot do it alone, but together, together we can defeat them. Because we are family. Nothing can stop family. We go. Let's do this. Channel Aether into their blade. Not get my aether. Not today. Wait, how do I give you my aether? Oh. Take my Aether. Go, go, go. Take it. It won't let me interact. Take it. Take it. I can't give it to you. Oh, Blade of Light. Oh my God. The white decks. I'm interacting. Hold on. I'm trying. I keep getting attacked. <laughs> Leave me alone.
Don't worry, I got this. It might be a little scuffed, but I got this. Now! I give thee my aether. I can feel it. Just a little more. the line Not like this. Oh, like this. Alize, are you hurt? A touch dizzy, but otherwise fine. Thank you. And there you have it. Our friend is too stubborn to die. <sighs> we are far from finished. Or have you never considered how we came to this world? Crystal? You mean... like the Asians? Just so. As the Asians flee under the rift twixt plains with crystals of darkness, so did these warriors come hither with crystals of light. <laughs> Eloquent, as always. Aye, like the Asians, we too are beyond death. You cannot defeat that which is eternal. Wait!
Such methods as the Asians employ require the renunciation of the flesh. You... You would have had to... Turned into something? Became something else? At long last, you see. To save our world, we gave our lives. Okay, I just want to attest that. We were just adventurers trying to make our way. And our job here, a favor there, we never aspired to be warriors of light. But word of our deeds spread. And soon people were calling us heroes. They placed their hopes and dreams on our shoulders and bid us fight for all that was good and right. We fought, and we fought, and we fought, until there was no one left to fight. We won! And now our world is being erased from existence. We did everything right. Everything that was asked of us, and still, still it came to this. You of all people should understand. We cannot, we will not falter. We brought our world to the brink of destruction, and now we must save it. I've died before, Arbut. I'm not afraid to die again. No matter how many times we fall, we must rise and carry on the fight for those we left behind. To have known the depth of sorrow and embraced the highest sacrifice. Nonetheless, Master Louis Soi, guide my hand, I pray you, as fate's thread spinneth upon this most capricious spindle. Bam. <laughs> Quickly! Thou must needs invoke the power of thy crystal. What is this place? Such pain. Such sorrow. Oh, my dear children. It can't be. Mother Heidelin, hearken unto your children's plea. From two worlds do we gather, and from two worlds do we offer a bounty of light. 
In this desperate hour, we do beseech your intercession. We beg an audience with the word of the mother, with your chosen Minfilia. They're all like, <gasps> what? Your cries go not unheard. She what? Nor your sacrifices unnoticed. Though many are lost, there are those we can yet save. Whom I can yet save. Minfilia. Blessed children of the first, the light of your world hath grown blinding in its radiance, but it is not yet absolute. I will hie me to your world. And there take unto myself the light which riseth even now to drown it, as darkness once did drown another. Now you deign to answer our prayers? I will suffer this farce no longer! Oh, what the... Nice try. <laughs> as the Asians must serve as instruments of Zodiac's will, so too must others carry out the will of Hydaelyn. But for the boon you have granted her, she has grown strong enough to set me free, that I might serve as her emissary. Your suffering your sacrifice, your supplications. She has heard all. We will not let the first fall to light. Thank you, Uriange, for bringing everyone here. It fills my heart with joy to look upon the faces of my friends once more. In taking you unto her bosom, I knew that Hydaelyn had bequeathed to you a sliver of her grace. Why did it have to use those two words? Why? And in treating with the Asians, <laughs> I learnt of a star like unto our own. A doomed world of fallen heroes, in whom I glimpsed ourselves, the first. Full long did I search for a means to save this world, concluding at the last that the answer lay in the power of blessed crystals. And thus did I labor to set light against dark. Yet I knew from the beginning that this salvation would not come without sacrifice. For the instrument of the first's deliverance would of necessity be required to journey thither. There to remain. Mayhap forever. You orchestrated all of this not to save her, but to send her away. One life for one world. Such was the bargain, and you the coin, though it were not mine to spend. Have we not walked together in the light of the crystal, and at her bidding borne witness to the joys and sorrows of this land? Each and every one of you knows my heart. If this be the price I must pay, I pay it gladly. 
you would go alone then? My dearest Thancred, you who have ever watched over me, I am truly grateful for all you have done on my behalf, as would my father be. Your kindness, your compassion, your love. These are your gifts to me, and our gifts to them, forming a bond which transcends time and space. Sometimes I forget you are not the child I once knew. Make me proud. Long have I watched you from Hydaelyn's side. Watched as you nurtured and kept safe the light of the dawn. The dark recesses of the world hide untold secrets and dangers. Thus do I entrust to you, Tubsumati. I pray you, keep to the path that you may never have need of it. Crystals is all but spent. Perhaps, if there is naught else to be done. Hear me, servant of Hydaelyn. If you would have us place our trust in you, then I would ask a favor. Take us with you. Take us home. We were blind to the truth once, so I tell you this, as one fool to another. Light, dark, it doesn't matter. What matters is how you choose to use them. We made our choice and you see what came of it, so please, forge a different path. Seize a better fate. strange feeling. So many times have I watched you depart, my heart filled with worry. And ever did you return to me in triumph. Someday, when I have found a way to free this star from her sorrow, I promise you I shall repay the favor.
right. It's a lot going on right there. I have a feeling that's not the last time we're going to see them, but I guess we'll see. Close to level 62. Alright, I need to change my guy's pants. I'm still wearing that armor from before. Here we go. Yeah, I'll just fast travel over there. second To the rising stones. I close this out. I haven't seen anybody look at me in a while. Badge. <laughs> Speak with Alphanod in the Rising Stone. I think we're almost on the far edge of fate. Um, quest lines. Hey, what's going on, Wayne? How's it going? Back in the solar. It's been too long since we were all together. Happy New like Year. This. Happy New Not Year since... to you as well. Not since after Moon Breeder. Much has changed since then. We ourselves, most of all. Though not all who were lost could be gathered here today, we may take comfort in the knowledge that those who are not are carrying on the fight. While I am grateful to our friends in the north for their hospitality, it isn't our good to be back. But, as Papalima rightly said, much has changed since we last stood here. The scions of the Seventh Dawn are not as they once were, nor should we be. Our travels in the north brought us into contact with a host of fine and generous people, and their selfless deeds served to show me that it is not lofty causes that should inform our actions, but our hearts. And I hope that the Scions might continue in this manner, as individuals driven by individual principles. Provided we all sincerely desire to work towards Eorzea's salvation, I believe the paths we follow to achieve it need not, and should not, be dictated by any single ideal. Companions bound by a common purpose, free to go whither they will. The idea is not without merit. 
Very well. I shall resume my research of the primals and the elder gods of Eorzea. Should anyone have need of my findings, you need only ask. I should be glad of your continued assistance. Well, my main purpose in coming here was to see the signs of the Seventh Dawn restored and my dear friend found. Nevertheless, having involved myself in your struggles, I feel compelled to see them through to the bitter end. For Minfilia's sake. That is, if there are no objections. You will always be welcome here, Kryle. Oriangere, and we trust you to carry on your investigation of the Asians as before. Regardless of mine own desires, I am undeserving of your trust, having so villainously deceived you all. <laughs> now, now, I'll hear no more of that. I really thought he was a baddie. disrespectful of Minfilia's wishes. She entrusted matters here to us, that we might protect this star and understand the truth which hides at her heart. Mayhap I can handle the former, but I think you far better suited to the latter. No? Very well. Then out of love for my lady Minfilia and Moonbreeder both, this shall be my solemn charge. I... Papalimo and I should probably return to Thunderland to keep an eye on the Resistance. There's still the matter of the Griffin and the Amalja, not to mention the new Imperial Viceroy. That little lot must be worthy of our attention, right? And what will you do, Alize? You know I have no great love for organizations and formalities. That being said, this new approach you propose is not wholly objectionable. And we've always got him to keep us from bickering. But I will suffer no titles. I am not here for House Leveille, nor to walk in Grandfather's shadow. Upon that point, we see eye to eye. If it please you, you may think of me as but another comrade in arms. Well then, Alfie, I for my part shall see to the paperwork and the finances with my characteristic aplomb. I would not have it any other way, Tataru. And we mustn't forget you. What now for the warrior of light? What now? <laughs> Let me close my eyes, open them back up, and select its an, uh, dialogue option. New adventure, what else? The road goes on, ever goes on. Strive for those we have lost, for those we can yet save. We strive for those we have lost and for those we can ever save. I like that. I like that. Indeed. The path behind us was fraught with hardship, and the path before us will be no less unforgiving. But a new dawn shall break over the realm, and I see before me the faces of those who will deliver it.
One second, chat. I'm just checking something real quick. Sorry, I'm sending uh, some SEO stuff to my one buddy from YouTube because um, he was sharing some stuff that he found and then I was and some stuff I found. Anyways, it's funny because I do gaming and he's doing like a uh, car um, track videos and things like that. With his BRZ. One world's heroes are another world's villains. One world's loss, another world's gain. Where men go as one, there is life. And where there is life, and where there is life, my friends, if I may, I would ask that you entrust Tupsimati to me. Clouds gather upon the horizon, and as Master Louisois' disciple, I would keep it close at hand. Thank you. I shall guard it well. I hope so. There is cause to hope. For every ending, every parting, marks a new beginning. Wait, are they two separate people? Mm. 
no retreat, no surrender. Tidings from Gear Abanya. Here we go. We got nine more quests until uh, Stormblood begins. I think we'll be able to start it tonight. go down here I think yeah there we go wait for Tataru in the Diamond Forge presume to begin without you, Ida. Orionje has returned to the Waking Sands, but everyone else is now present. Yes, but for what exactly? We all have duties to attend to, Elfino, so you may dispense with the preamble. Thank you, Elise. It is the very subject of those duties which compelled me to call this gathering. Though the Warriors of Darkness no longer pose a threat, Eorzea's many troubles demand no less of our attention. And while I stand by the decision to approach each task as we see fit, I fear our effectiveness will ultimately be diminished should we continue to act in ignorance of each other's efforts. Thus, I propose we elect a successor to Minfilia. Not to serve as a fully-fledged antecedent, perhaps, but as a coordinator of operations. Is that all? Well, then the decision seems clear. No one else has shown any enthusiasm for the role, and judging by your performance at our previous meeting, you would seem the perfect candidate. You always did have a flair for politics. It's like, Chad, I need to take a quick screenshot. Uh, I, I did not mean to. That was not my intention. As my tenure as commander of the Crystal Braves comprehensively demonstrated, I lack the qualities required for such an office. I would much prefer to remain as I am now, a soldier in the field, so to speak. Should none of our numbers step forward, must we then constrain some unwilling candidate to take up the position? Well, based on merit alone, a certain adventurer would be my choice. Though I concede he might struggle to balance his new responsibilities with, let me see, slaying primals, thwarting legatuses, and feeding the orphan poor. Thancred makes a good point. Any who would wear such a mantle would be bound by its obligations. Have we not become sufficiently familiar with each other's methods to act without an overseer? At present, I see no cause to so willingly limit one of our number. Oh, oh my goodness! Your help! I need some help here! Oh god. What's happening? Tataru, are you alright? Me? I'm fine. It's this poor girl who just staggered in and collapsed on the floor that I'm worried about. Narco! God, how did... Yashola! Please, you have to help her. Kral, a hand if you would. Let us see about closing these wounds. Now, we've staunched the bleeding, but it may be a while before you can move about again. 
Though having seen your wounds, I'm surprised you are still moving at all. <sighs> Thank you. My message. It was too important to delay. I took the shortest route I could, though I knew it was more heavily patrolled. As you can see, my efforts at evasion were not entirely successful. Honestly, you're too brave for your own good. What was so urgent that you needed to fight half the Empire to get here? You could have been killed! I'm sorry, Ida. I had good reason. Ah, but I imagine your friends are wondering who this bloody mess of a Mikote is. My name is Minago, and I belong to the Alamegan Resistance. Minago? I came to warn Ida and Papalimo about one of our leaders. A man who calls himself the Griffin. He's always been dangerous, but he's planning something new. Something reckless. The Griffin, you say? I've heard the name. Rumor has it your man is eager to test his claws. Aye, and on no easy target. He means to assault Belsar's wall from the Alamegan side. But what does the Griffin possibly hope to gain from such an attack? From what I understand, he wants the fires of war to spread to Eorzea. And for that, he needs to control the border with Gridania. So, he means to spark a conflict between the Alliance and the Imperial forces stationed in Alamigo. To have Eorzea's armies aid in the liberation effort, whether they will it or no. His plan is flawed. Even should the Resistance succeed in occupying the Wall, they would not be able to hold it. Imperial reinforcements would drive them out within a week. Be that as it may, if there is even a chance that this scheme could bring about an escalation in hostilities between Eorzea and the Empire, the Alliance must be informed. Agreed. I shall depart for Limsa Laminsa forthwith and seek an audience with the Admiral. Thancred, Uldar is yours. Jeez. Alphano and Alize, <laughs> What's going on, imagine? to the Twelveswood and notify the Elder Seedseer of the danger to Gridania. She would duly call a council of the Alliance leaders, whom you must be ready to receive. You will be our voice in Ishgard. Oh Explain boy. the situation to Sir Emmerich, and encourage him to send an envoy. Tataru, Kryle, I leave the care of our injured messenger to you. See that she remains quiescent and her wounds closed. I believe that covers everything. Let us be about our tasks. I suspect the ill tidings from Girabania will be held as a turning point. The beginning to a bloody end. I'm playing the new COD, I get it stressed. The business of war I've always was ever gotten conducted previously cannot be healthy. Of self -sacrifice. Yeah. One of the reasons why I don't really play COD, at least multiplayer wise. But I don't really play any type Louis of like Soir competitive himself, who taught us that such costs are stuff. not to be ignored or denied. Respect. <laughs> Plus one, respect. And so I shall As long as you them. have fun though, I mean at the end of when the, the day. time comes, I will <laughs> make my choice. As you will yours. There it is. A new character.
All right, we're in a open area. Uh, what's that one? Forgotten night. I am. It's the only thing I get mad about yelling some bad things. Eight quests from Stormblood. Yes, sir. We are almost there, Yobex. I'm so excited. I I'm pretty excited. Bo Jiden. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> um, I am. It's not the only thing. I guess some very bad things about the person that killed me. I keep it to myself. No, I don't want to be treated as things. Yeah, that's that's really fun. Yeah, I mean, dude, I totally get it. Um. That's why I like, I, like for me, I like playing like story stuff. Cause like, not only if a good story like keeps me invested, then I'm content. But then also like, if I play a multiplayer game, like I, I can still have fun even when I do bad. But sometimes if I get too much too into it, I'm just like, nah, I, I shouldn't be doing this. And that's basically my experience with COD every time so then I'm like nah I'm good battlefield though I can I can honestly play for the most part and like even if I do bad be all right with it same thing with some other like tactical shooters It's a different case for everybody. I'm always all over the place. I go from game to game every other day or every week. So I'm not very consistent when it comes to one game for the most part. Speak with Sir Aramic at Camp Dragonhead. How are we doing? Uh, I think we got. Oh, yo, Bex. One thing I wanted to ask you. So, like, if somebody has like, so for you, do you or do you have all jobs at like level eighty? Or, or 90, I guess now. Or, well, I guess I'm sure there's some that you might not have at 90. Um, anyways, if you have... Update this gear set. Now, if you're not even leveled... Oh, okay. <laughs> well, like, so for somebody that has, like, multiple sets... Um, for your armory... Like, how does that work? I mean, I guess technically there's enough for eight in here, but like, I don't know. I just feel like that's going to be a lot. You're going to be very, what happens when you run out? Like if you have specific gear, gear sets, like the list symbol next to the plate symbol. The list. On top of your character, this thing. Just add or make sets. Okay. Yeah, I've done that before. Um, do you mean having more space? I meant for more space. Like, what happens if you run... Like, say if you filled every single slot because you're playing... I don't know. You're swapping between classes, but then there's something in here that you don't want to get rid of. 
Like, what do you do with that? Do you just return it to your inventory and then can you put it somewhere else? Or, like, is that a, even a common thing anyways to begin with? I would assume it wouldn't be as common. It would have to be for, like, the most... The hardcore of the hardcore, but... Mm -hmm. Even with all jobs filled, just c discard whatever you don't need. Okay. That's kind of what I figured. I feel like you would have to have so much gear that you don't even know what to do with to even reach that point, I guess. And at that point, it would just be like, you got to get rid of something or return it to your inventory. Is there a, uh, like a bank? Like, should I even be, I mean, to be honest, I, I have plenty of space because we have 140, but like, is there even a bank that like I should be depositing this stuff into? There's retrain. Oh, right, right. Retrainers is where you can, which serve as banks. Gotcha. Okay. To new, new Gridania. Like if you were, uh, if you have a weapon for your job and you already leveled past it, there's no reason point to keep it. Okay, that makes sense. When you, um, every time an item goes into your inventory, do you automatically unlock that item as a glamour? So, like, say if I got some book forever ago and I really like it but I discarded the original book even though I discarded it can I still glamour that onto a new item yeah oh nah okay so do you have to transform it into a glamour before you discard it Let me actually just test, just to see. So say, let's try on, what does this book look like? That looks kind of cool. So what if I go like, or farm it again? If I do cast glamor, that's gonna cast a glamor onto this. Oh, but I could also, I would have to go to the glamor thingy click on this the book of spades and be like bada bing bada boom put it in there and then from there i can right click in the uh my in and change things to it right is that the only way you can add stuff to your um the glamour armory <laughs> What's it technically called? Is it a glamour armory? Where you have like all your templates. Uh, conjurers. Let's see, reputation. person have it summoned oh right shoot I bid you welcome, my friends. As you will by now be aware, 
The Scions of the Seventh Dawn have come into possession of certain intelligence concerning recent developments in the region of Gear Abania. It springs, I am assured, from an unimpeachable source. Is that not so, Master Alfino? Indeed, Elder Seedseer. Our information comes directly from a member of the Resistance's inner circle, and we have no cause to doubt its veracity. This griffin of theirs is a fool if he thinks he can hold Belsar's wall against the Empire. When the Imperials move to take it back, they will come in force. And the resulting fighting is all but certain to spill over into the Black Shroud. At the Battle of Cartano, the combined might of three grand companies labored to contend with the remnants of but a single Imperial Legion. Alone, Gridania would be hard-pressed indeed to hold back the tide, should the Garleans turn their minds from reclamation to invasion. May I once more convey my nation's deepest regrets for our inaction in the days prior to the Calamity. Tis a stain upon our ledger that I would fain remove. Elder Seeds here. I do hereby request leave to deploy a defensive force within the borders of Gridania. Ishgard's return to the Alliance shall be honored by more than mere ink upon parchment. The Doman people, too, would join any effort that weakens our common foe. We are few, but our most seasoned shinobi are at your disposal. On behalf of my people, I offer you my humble thanks. Gridania welcomes your assistance. It is time we set our contingency plans in motion. Is the Alliance agreed? Then let us make ready for war. Victory favors the swift. There is much to be done. The Council knows that Alamigo will not soon be wrested from the Empire and its decision to bolster the border's defences seems eminently practical. Why then, brother, do you scowl so? I agree that they have chosen the wisest course available. Indeed, the only reasonable one. Yet something feels awry. In making ready for war, is the Alliance not granting the Griffin the very thing he desired? Any attempt to hold the wall is doomed to failure, aye. But I wonder if we have misjudged the prize for which he plays. Sorry, I had to do something real quick. Uh, but I'm good now. Wait, did I just fast travel back somewhere that I probably can just... Yeah. Uh, no, actually, no, I couldn't have. Walked over here. Like that. Get where you hand those in at. Third astral by the Allegan Empire. Just sell them to somebody. Enter the Rising Stones.
I thought I'd put my cam back on. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, there is? Alright, good. There's a dungeon coming up. Uh, what do we have? We have the Balesar's Wall coming up. Hmm? Got like two mechanics you haven't seen yet. Okay. Alright. Once I put myself in queue, I need to, uh, my watch is on 7% because I didn't get to charge it last night. Ah, there it is. One, two. We're almost there. We have six quests, including this one. I know, 7%, pretty scary. Okay, eight minutes. Uh, oh shoot. I saw that one. I caught it. I caught it. I, I need to check this more often. Every time, I need to look right there, see what's in there. Get into the habit of doing that. 